I'm Callie Lewis. You're watching Geek Brief TV. This is Brief 523. I woke up early this morning to work out and found that the Apple Store was down. I tweeted about it, twitter.com slash Callie Lewis, and I was surprised that quite a few people didn't know that Apple takes the store offline when it adds new products. It's Apple Stagecraft that gets those of us in the cult really excited. When it came back up, we had some things that we were expecting and some surprises. The iMac hasn't changed on the outside, but hard drive capacity and RAM have both been doubled. New iMacs now have the NVIDIA GeForce 9400M integrated graphics that were introduced to Apple computers when they released their aluminum unibody MacBooks. It also has a mini display port connector so you can add a second 24-inch LED cinema display. The Mac Mini we got was pretty much the same one that was rumored. It now boasts a 2 gigahertz Intel Core 2 Duo processor, handles up to 4 gigabytes of RAM, and gains FireWire 800 and NVIDIA GeForce 9400M graphics. The Mac Pro has also been updated for performance with Intel Nehalem Xeon processors. The internal architecture has been revamped to double performance and make expansion even easier than before. Make expansion even easier than before is a direct quote from the Apple press release, and I'm pointing it out because the inside of a Mac Pro is a thing of organized beauty, and for them to say they've improved the system architecture to make it even easier blows my mind a little bit. In addition to faster and more efficient processors and graphics options, each graphics card includes both DVI ports and mini display ports, so you can use the old or the new displays without an adapter. At the time we're shooting this episode, Apple hasn't yet issued a press release about the update I'm most over the moon about. The new Airport Extreme is really freaking cool because it's dual band. It simultaneously supports 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi devices like phones and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi enabled computers and media hardware. This is important on so many levels. For one thing, a slower device on your network can negatively impact the speed you get from a device that's capable of higher performance. Another thing, 2.4 gigahertz is used by a lot of gadgets you may have in your home, including wireless phones. Things using that frequency can interfere with your need for speed. The new Airport Extreme essentially creates a slow lane for slower devices and a super high speed lane for faster devices. Not only that, it can support up to 50 users. I thought this was on our existing Apple Extreme, but since Apple says it's new, I guess it's new. You can enable guest networking using the airport utility and create a separate Wi-Fi network for guests. The guest network can have a different password or no password. Several of you suggested I try out for this thing called best job in the world. It's a marketing campaign by Tourism Queensland. The winner blogs and does video blogs from the islands of the Great Barrier Reef for six months. At the last minute, I decided to enter, and out of 34,000 people, I made the short list of 50. For the next month, you can vote once a day to send me through. They'll pick 10 people, and the internet will pick the 11th. If I'm in that group of 11, I will go to Australia for a job interview, and if they picked me, I would spend this July to December shooting Geek Brief Down Under with beautiful island scenery in the background. I would also be shooting loads of HD video exploring the islands in addition to blogging and tweeting about the adventure. If you can spare a minute to vote each day, please go to www.islandreefjob.com slash Callie. I appreciate your help. I'm Callie Lewis. Thanks for watching. I'm like trying to be mean here. <laughs>